Linux. Flip. So, Arch Linux. It's a really good Linux distribution. I use it every day and it's perfect for me. And today we're just going to be installing it on this Lenovo ThinkPad XT20. You can't even see it, but that, that there says XT20. Oh, yep, now you can see it. So, Lenovo ThinkPad. Believe it or not, this has actually been on the channel before. It's a really nice um, computer. Recently installed Windows 7 on it. It's been a nice computer. But today, I'm just going to be installing Arch Linux on it. Surely nothing will go wrong, right? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, USB stick. This contains literally everything that we need for today's episode. So, I will plug this in, turn on the computer, and spam that F12 key. And I believe we can just, boom. Oh, there we go, VT loading. Hey, there we go. And we do not have Arch Linux on here. But whatever, let's just load up into Debian to do um, some partitioning things. So while that loads, I'm gonna get Arch Linux. And once I'm done with the partitioning things, I will get Arch Linux on that USB stick. Hey, there we go. We got a plasma made by KDE. And we had a mouse cursor that we could move, but hey, there we go. We have a mouse cursor that we can move. So, let's go in here. Kitty Partition Manager. And, okay, here we go. This is it. Okay, I will do some more stuff with this partition later, but apply pending operations. Now, hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm going to zoom right in there and start a time lapse. Okay, finally, we are done with the partitioning. It, it took a while, but we have our partitions right here. So I think it's time to start getting Arch Linux on this here USB stick. And I just unplugged it while it's running. So we're going to play a fun game and that's called unplugging it. So yeah, I'm going to get Arch on this USB. Be right back. Okay, this is where we are right now. I copied over the ISO. There's the USB stick right there and it and it's stuck on this message device should not be unplugged. So I'm just gonna leave it for like five, seven minutes. And yeah, when I come back to this, I'm just gonna rip it out. Okay, it's done. Device can be removed. So I'm just going to remove it. There we go. Now let's go back to the laptop. Okay, hand transition. So, USB stick. I'm now going to plug in said USB stick, turn it on, and spam that. Wait a minute. So you know how I played that fun game called unplugging it? Well, this laptop's battery is completely just gone. I need to get this replaced. It's something. I just use it on the power anyway, so it doesn't really... um doesn't really make that big of a difference but when i unplug it it just goes um yep do that and in the meantime i'm gonna pull out the dell laptop that's been on this channel before i'm just gonna pull it up 
pull it up and do the arch install guide. Okay, there we go, we're in. So, what's the first command? Um, load keys UK. Hey, now, um, I know this is in BIOS, so, yeah. Um, IWCTL. Station WLAN 0, connect Sky W that that and type in my password get out of that ping whaletear.ch boom so we are getting internet now what um time date ctl okay that is actually correct because i'm now in um i'm now in utc so cf disk I'm just going to run an LSBLK and SDA1 is 60 gigs. And I believe I already formatted it, but I'm going to... Yeah, it's already formatted, so I'm not going to do anything here. Um, Mount the root more volume to MNT. Well, I could do a separate slash home partition, but I'm not going to just because... Um, so mount dev sda1 mnt um cd slash mnt list okay it's nothing um select the mirrors no okay pack strap dash k slash mnt so it's base linux linux firm where Intel you code what else? Um okay, I'll install that if I need to. Um DHCP CD IWD Um Micro Sudo EFI Boot Manager and Grub. Let's do it. Oh, I, I forgot to put a space between Linux and Linux firmware. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're installing. Okay, there we go. That did not take long at all. It took like um, two minutes, it says. Okay, so gen f stab um, dash u slash mnt slash mnt. I forgot to put the little, yeah, slash mnt slash etc slash f stab. And then room into mnt there we go uh, set the time zone ln dash sf etc user share zone info europe london etc local time bam um hw clock sys thc there we go um micro etc locale hyphen gen i believe no it isn't it's get out of it it's locale dot gen boom so now let's get um let's get rid of the ones i need enus and engb and we'll save it and locale gen um, micro slash etc slash locale dot con lang equals engb dot utf dash eight save it um, micro slash etc slash v console dot con 
and um, key map equal to UK. Save it and micro etc host name and um, think pad x220 and get rid of it. Um, pass wd. Type my super secure password and grub install. Um, install device isn't specified. Slash dev slash sda. Installation finished. Grub make config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. And there we go, and I need to enable OS Probe Flip. Um, it is not picking up my windows. It's fine, I'll, I'll do that later. And then, um, exit, u mount dash r slash mnt. What? Um, what? In fact, I'm giving up here. I'm just going to reboot the thing. Okay. Black screen. Flash. The USB stick is out. You can just see a faint, a really... up into it. Loading. Okay, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Hey, there we go. Wait, why does it just say Arch Linux? It should say ThinkPad. Hold on. Um. Clean. Hey, there we go. We got the, we got the host name correct. Now, See if I can boot back into Windows. Oh, gosh, this is going to be hard. Okay, I think we got a good fix. All right, so for context, you know when I first booted up the freshly installed Arch system and Windows was not showing up in the grub menu? Put a frame of that on screen right now. Well, I'm right now just trying to boot back into Windows so that I can do some Windows boot manager stuff. Anyway, back to the video. I'm gonna reboot the system and unplug the USB. I'll flip. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Starting Windows. So what I did was I went into um, disk part and set the Windows partition as active. Oh. Flip. Oh, flip. Skip. Check and file system on W. Did I just change my drive letter? Preparing your desktop. I thought that was only first login. User in it. Oh, wait, wait what? What? Okay. I just ran user in it and it's not um So I did change my my letter. Okay, um Let's reboot this and fix the letter. Okay, hopefully this works. I set the drive letter back to C in the same way that I set it to W. So hopefully if it wants to disk check, it will say, oh, the drive letter is C. 
Um. What? No, 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 no. Get out of this. Unplug. Okay, so we're trying this again from scratch. I'm gonna just download the torrent. Torrent this um recovery image right here. And um oh gosh, I forgot how reflective the screen was. Yes. Okay, turns out I do have it. And I'm just copying it over to this blue USB stick, which is going to be my recovery media. Yeah, I'm just copying it over. I'm gonna take out the USB, put it in that other computer and just do the thing. Welcome to day two. So, um, yeah, day two. I got these monitors working, but this one, for some reason, just isn't. MGMT.MSC, MSC. We have our partition here. This is our fresh partition table, fresh after restoration. I pressed the B button on accident, and yeah. Okay, here we go, we have disk management. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I really need to make this connection a little bit more. I'm just gonna unplug the, what? Okay, what? so it's hard to pinpoint where exactly this is coming from okay i think i fixed it so this lenovo recovery partition i think we need to delete so um i can't type uninstall there we go Oh my gosh, look at all the bloatware. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, reboot. Oh wow, I just realized the refresh the refresh rate on this display is absolutely It's messing with my camera. Load up disk management and it's still there. Oh yeah, I remember there's an application. Recover drive space. Have you completed? Yeah. 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 And it's gone. What did it do with it? Oh, it just put it back. Oh yeah, that's nice. It did that. So this time I'm going to keep the system drive and TFS partition. I'm just going to shrink the um, thing. And in the meantime, oh yeah. So it's 61440. Bam. In the meantime, while that's shrinking, let's do a little bit of customization. And boom, that looks a lot better no get rid of it okay we have our 60 gigs of unallocated space let's just make a new simple volume next next um do not assign a drive letter a path and do not format this volume finish there we go, 60 gigs of raw. So I don't know where I put that USB stick, but I'm gonna find it. Okay, I found 
hold it. Here we go, USB stick. So let's plug it in, control alt delete, and reboot. Okay, the angle is really wonky right now. I'll fix it now, actually. There we go, that's a bit of a better angle. Let's boot off the um boot off the sand disc. Okay, we're in grub. Oh yeah, that was the option I wanted. Uh, yup. So, I'm going to pull out the laptop again. And just get started. Okay, I'm ready. So, load keys UK. <coughs> Very epic. Um, find WCTL. Station. Beyond zero. that and type in my password there we go exit ping whaletear.ch and if you couldn't already tell i literally just woke up so yeah we're on the internet time date ctl uh yep we are wait hold on yeah, that's correct. Um, CF disk. So, oh, it's actually, well, what's it doing? It's not showing up on a laptop display completely, but it's showing up on here. How weird. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, we have this um, FAT16 volume. I'm just gonna go type and set it over to Linux. Boom. So that is, um, yeah, that is SDA3. Um, so quit. I'm just gonna do an LSBLK, just to check. Yup. Um, what? Hey, there we go. Just took a while to connect. So, yeah, um... I am kind of stuck at this point because, um... Yeah, I want to get my dual boot working. How am I going to do that? Oh, yeah, I could just use the Windows Boot Manager and Easy BCD. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Reboot. Okay, better camera angle. Spam that F12 key. Sand disk. Come on. Boot up. Okay, there we go. <sighs> I just typed in list this already. So I'm just going to go cell vol 0, s letter, just w actually, cell vol 1, s letter c. There we go, we have it on the C drive. Now, Oh yeah, I forgot to mark it as active. U I L D B C D. Operation completed successfully. Nice. Um, W P U T I L reboot. Hopefully this works. Starting Windows. The main system volume was assigned to C earlier on, so let's put it on D. 
Okay. This is working. And where is it? C. Oh my gosh, this is completely working. Epic. Okay, put it on the Ventoy partition, which is, you know, the one that I can actually access. Boom. English. Do the thing. So I want to add a new entry. I'm just going to put automatically locate and load and name it Arch Linux. And okay, let's see if this works. If not, then I'll just reinstall our, um, Grub, I mean. Okay, Arch Linux. Bam. <gasps> Boot up into Arch Linux. That was easy. Okay, time to set Grub timeouts and set Grub to do Grub things. Hey, there we go. Look at that. It's, this is good. Nice. I have not installed Plasma in a while, actually. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up the system settings here. Now oh, it pinned micro to the taskbar. Terminal console not found okay we're done let's load up firefox and visit my website whaletear.ch bam let's go on my youtube channel yeah, let's go into the YouTube channel. Now scroll down. We don't need a we don't need a driver for that. It already has it. And there we go. Let's watch my latest video. I haven't uploaded. I actually haven't. Uploaded. Let's see if it can do um 1080, as I do my videos in 1080. I used to do them in 1440, but it kind of stresses out my computer, as in my on sources. The, Wii, the only USB ports are on the back. See these two USB ports? So yeah, this is still good for um modern day web browsing, but can we do 4K content? All right, now where is Witches? I'm just going to... um Witch okay it's looking good but we're on 1080 4k oh come on oh gosh this is frozen Okay, so it can't be. Well, let's put it on 1440. See how this goes. Play. It's just handling 1440. There are a couple lag spikes here and there, but... Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. So, um, now it's time for some music. 
Okay, we're on Good Kids page. Now let's go this. Find the scroll wheel. Let's go to arguably one of one of the best songs of theirs. <laughs> I have an idea. Stop. Okay, we're back at the original setup for this. Now, enter the massive wooden block. I'm going to get the setup on the ground. Okay, it's down. Let's put the laptop on and play the song. It has a lot more, I can tell there's a lot more treble. I don't know if that's the speaker or the wood. Okay, so that works. Get out of that. So yeah, now to get my background. Okay, we did it. We have our um thing here. We don't have much stuff installed, but that's fine. We're gonna now um leave log out. No leave log out. And we're gonna now switch over to Hyperland. Log in. I absolutely hate typing at an angle. Oh, here we go. Hey, there we go. We finally got this working. So now we can set this to alacrity. Save it. And set the file manager to Nemo. Save it. And now... Um... So now let's go to gitlab.com slash oglo12. Hopefully we can do this on personal projects. Um, now where is it? Hyperland rice. There we go. And how do I do this? So I need to install all required programs. Okay, so the phone just randomly stopped recording. But here we go. I installed EWW. Yeah, EWW because I was having issues with it um compiling. So I just found it on the chaotic AUR and just installed it. So now go back here. Um that's the wrong configure curl bash and git are installed so i'm going to copy that all right starting rice please wait okay i'm waiting oh would you look at that this looks absolutely incredible hey we got our thing here nice um change theme uh, let's just go built in uh, let's just go solarized dark for now okay well now i'm just gonna pull over my um my train theme Okay, there we go. There we go, I fixed it. Boom. Train. Use train. Do it. Hey! <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we are finally done with um, configuring Arch Linux and dual booting it with Windows. That took way too long. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This took way too long to make, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. If you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload, probably next week. I don't know.